Alright, this video is a brief description of the learn fuel table. Um, I've been told that the learn fuel table does not feed back and make adjustments to your fuel table. This you have to do yourself. Um, learn fuel, you can see over here is the learn fuel light. You cannot switch on and off learn fuel. It is temperature controlled. You set, you can set the temperature at which the learn fuel starts by going to setup and closed loop learn fuel. Closed loop engagement temperature and learn fuel engagement temperature. At 150 Fahrenheit, which is my oil temperature, not cylinder head temperature, um, 150 Fahrenheit, learn fuel will automatically start, even without the computer connected. This is the only table that seems to populate when the computer is not connected. Anything else is just remains blank. Learn fuel, you can take your car for a drive, come back, see what your learn fuel table has done. So, after you've driven your car, you go to edit, learn fuel table, click on it, and you'll get something on those lines. The majority of the blocks will remain lit up at zero. The colors are air fuel ratios. Any blocks that need adjustment to get to the fuel ratio that you have selected for that particular cell that you get your your numbers get populated as to the adjustment needed these numbers relate to your air fuel table which I've set up as such so the learn fuel table adjusts percentage wise to give you ideally your air fuel table um, what you're supposed to do with this is you superimpose it onto your fuel table so learn fuel I can have a look at my third row on 82 I've got 85 uh, negative 0 0.5 and my fourth row I've got these two numbers so on my, on my fuel table third row at 82 I've got that which is the number of 5950 I can adjust that according to what my learn fuel table has said saying I need to decrease that slightly to get to my aim which is 13, 14 to 1 at this point. And then you have to manually change the settings in your fuel table to adjust.